Well, good afternoon. This is Pastor Anthony Whitletch at First Baptist Church of Tempe. I'm the pastor of discipleship here. And I wanted to show you during this time of isolation a way that you could uniquely study your Bible. For those people who struggle to read their Bible or interpret their Bible or understand, they often have a hard time knowing how do I even pick it up and read it and what's going to be interesting for me to study. So you might find this method of study helpful to you. I have a passion for teaching people how to read the Bible and have fun doing it because it's a passion of mine. So for this study, what I'm going to do is introduce it to you this week, and then we'll dive into the book of Proverbs next week. But this specific study is going to show you how to study a word or a theme in a specific book of the Bible. So we're going to get a little bit narrow. For this study, we're going to study hope in the book of Proverbs. So I'm giving you these online resources, that's where the camera's pointed right now, so that you can do this at home on your own, so that you don't need me to make videos for you every week. So the first place you might want to go to do a study like this is blueletterbible.org. And when you go to blueletterbible.org, you're going to want to first come here and maybe change your translation. If this if you like the new King, you like the new you like the King James version, you will just leave it here. Otherwise, you might want to pick a different translation. At FBC, we often use the New American Standard Bible, so I'm going to change to that. And then I'm just going to type in the word hope here. And I'm going to press enter and search for that. And it's going to bring up 140 occurrences and 132 verses. And I don't want to study that many occurrences or verses, so I'm going to narrow it down just to the book of Proverbs. So if you scroll down here, on your right-hand side, you'll search results by book, and you'll go to Proverbs right here. And when I click on that, it's going to show me eight occurrences in the book of Proverbs. So this is what our study is going to be on, these eight occurrences in the book of Proverbs. And we're going to ask the question, what is hope in the book of Proverbs? Now, before we do a study like this, it's important to, to find out a little bit about the book. We can't just dive into a study like this, start reading verses, and asking ourselves, what does this mean to me, and go on interpreting and trying to understand the Bible that way. That's really dangerous. We can get it off track really easy. So what we need to do first is understand a little bit about the book of Proverbs. So we might go to a different website called BibleStudyTools.com, and we'll go there and we'll type in the word Proverbs, because that's the book we want to study. And then right here, under Bible Books, You'll see Proverbs. You want to click on that. And then it's going to give you a bunch of information about the book of Proverbs. It's going to give you a summary of the book. It's going to talk about the author. It's going to talk about the date, maybe, when the book was written. This specifically is going to tell you what's the nature of a, a Hebrew proverb. So what specifically are Proverbs attempting to accomplish? This might be the most helpful section, is the purpose and teaching. This is going to give you a good framework for how to understand the book that you're reading and what's included in it. So I want to pull out a couple things specifically here about the book of Proverbs so that we understand exactly how we're studying hope in this book. And then we'll get started in chapter 10 of Proverbs next week on the first occurrence. But this verse says, according to the prologue, Proverbs was written to give prudence to the simple, knowledge and discretion to the young, and to make the wise even wiser. He says, frequent references to my son or my sons emphasize instructing the young and guiding them in the way of life that yields rewarding ends. So in other words, what that tells us is that Solomon, the writer of this book, is primarily writing as a father to his children. So he's trying to guide them in life and grow them up, help them to experience good personal experiences, have healthy families and labor well and have good standing in the community and he's trying to help them avoid pitfalls in life and so he's giving them this very practical advice but here's another piece of super helpful information that will guide our study although proverbs is a practical book dealing with the art of living it is based its practical wisdom solidly on the fear of the lord and then it references chapter 1 verse 7 and the reason why that's important is because Studying hope in the book of Proverbs is not going to teach us how to have hope in Jesus Christ. When Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father except through me, he is speaking about the understanding that Solomon already has. 
the practical wisdom that he offers is based on the fear of the Lord. In other words, he already expects that his children have a relationship with Jesus, with God. And after you have a relationship with Jesus, with God, then you can go about changing your life to live practically and experience a better life. So I do want you to understand that as we study hope, in the book of Proverbs, it's not going to be hope about believing in Jesus. It's going to be, I already believe in Jesus. I already fear the Lord. How can I, how can I perpetuate or multiply hope in my life by living righteously or being sanctified? So that's what we're going to do in this study of hope. Hopefully this will be a unique experience for you studying the Bible and if you want to jump ahead and study any of those other verses back here in Proverbs that are one of the eight occurrences, please feel free to do that on your own. We'll just keep unpacking them piece by piece. Thanks. See you next week.